Hello everyone, my name is Typhoon and in now let's take a practical look at an example of SCADA software and attempt to exploit it using Metasploit. In this case, we will focus on exploiting a data C Realvin SCADA server 2.0 um, system running on a Windows XP platform. So this service operates on port 912 and possesses a vulnerability related to a buffer overflow with the sprintf function. Now let's actually make our the Windows XP view smaller, make it on the right side here and also we had some text here yeah that's it and now what we're gonna do here is go back to our attacker machine so here uh, so this sprinter function utilized in data c real when SCADA service source code is responsible for constructing a specific string based on a user input. So when a malicious is manipulated by an attacker, uh, this vulnerable function can lead to a complete compromise of the target system. So now we will use the exploit uh, real when SP SCPC initialize exploit because it specifically targets vulnerabilities within the real win SCADA systems. So use exploit, use exploit, uh, Windows, SCADA, real win, actually, can you hear my voice? Yes, perfect. So re real win SPC P initialize. So exploit Windows SCADA real win S no SCPC initialize here and let's show options. And as you can see here, it automatically selected the metaprotor uh, reverse shell for us. And I will just explain that right now. So the real win SCPC initialize exploit is tailored to a particular uh SCADA system real pen by focusing on a specific system we can better understand the intricacies of that system's vulnerabilities and the assessment its uh, security accurately so uh, real win SCADA is a real world system used in industrial and critical infrastructure settings so by testing its security we simulate scenarios that are relevant to actual in industrial environments helping us identify and mitigate vulnerabilities that uh, could pose significant risks so this exploit provides an educational opportunity for students and penetration testers it allows them to gain hands-on experience in identifying exploiting and securing vulnerabilities in SCADA system which are crucial for safeguarding critical infrastructure so the exploitation of SCADA systems uh, is in infra infrastructural control systems environments is growing concern due to the potential impact on public safety and the economy so by using this exploit we can uh, assess the security of ICES components helping organizations identify weaknesses and develop stronger defenses so this exploit aligns with the specific vulnerabilities found in the real wind SCADA systems demonstrating the importance of tailoring penetration testing to be unique characteristics of the target environment so it, it emphasizes the need to use relevant exploits for effective testing and in summary using this uh, we exploit windows SCADA real win scpc initialized exploit is vital in pen testing ics environments because it provides a targeted real world and educational approach to identifying and addressing vulnerabilities that could have severe consequences if left unaddressed and we will also use the another exploit uh, for better uh, for deepening our understanding here so now we will need to set the r host here in this step uh, we, will, we will be gonna specify the target machine's ip address as the value for r host in this case our target machine was the, let's actually see the one nine yeah one four two and one three seven so set our hosts here 192, 168, 
138. Nah, seven here. And after that, let's actually show the options here. We have set the all port. I'll have no, we didn't set this is the default here. This is a listen port for metaprotor here, a payload here, and we will also change this. And uh, here, model options, we had uh, we have set the R host, so we will not change the R port here because this specific uh, protocol, the specific service uses this uh, 912 uh, TCP port. And here, uh, we will also need to choose the payload. So the payload is a piece of code or software that we want to execute on the target's machine once we have exploited its vulnerability here uh, we will choose the windows metaprotor bind tcp payload here so we will uh, what we're going to do here use payload use payload here uh, it was use or we use the bind tcp or reverse tcp here but i think however the bind tcp is more reliable for this kind of jobs. Yeah, sure. We can use this bind TCP here. So uh, set payload windows here, metaprotor, metaprotor, bind TCP. That's it here. We have uh, already set this payload. And uh, here, uh, the default port data serial wins data here so show options so the default port is um, 912 so ports are so if you don't know what ports are ports are like doors through which data enters or exits a computer or network so in this uh, context the port 912 is the communication channel that the SCADA system uses. Now let's explain um, the overall goal here. Uh, so the objective here is to exploit a known vulnerability in real -win SCADA system running on a target machine with this IP address here. And uh, we want to leverage this vulnerability to establish a connection to the target's machine remotely giving us control over it. So to do this, we have selected this specific payload, uh, which is designed to create a backdoor on the target system. And once the payload successfully executes, it opens a communication channel on port 912, 912. So the default port data serial wins SCADA, um, this is the default port for data C, uh, SCADA. So this will allow us to remotely access and control the target machine completely. Now we will need to proceed, uh, proceed the, uh, with the exploitation, exploiting the target to determine whether the vulnerability can be leveraged successfully. So this action will help us um, assess the security of SCADA systems and understand any potential risk associated with this vulnerability. Now let's uh, proceed here. And as you can see here, the started by TCP handler. Now we gained this meterpreter shell here that's perfect we have uh, successfully exploited this now we can do uh, our uh, things here like we can set the load the we can set the we can use this uh, load mimic uh, mimic cuts here uh, so the first step involves uh, involves loading the mimic cuts model into our metasploit environment. Uh, so this model is a powerful tool for post-exploitation tasks, particularly in, particularly in extracting and manipulating credentials here. So we will load the uh, we will load the mimi cuts here. So load mimi cuts here, and that's it. So mimi cut has been replaced by kiwi. Please use this in the feature. Maybe we can also use the kiwi here. It uh, doesn't fit this actually. They are, they are almost the same here. So, and uh, here, as you can see here, after loading the Mimikatz model, we can utilize one of its specific commands here, which is Kerberos. Kerberos. Or let's actually show help. Help. And yeah, we have list all Kerberos tickets. We have all of these commands here. Hash dump play 
let's actually we let's actually get the screenshot here screen shot mm -hmm. let's see that screenshot and as you can see here we uh, got the screenshot here and we can also play this this is fun actually <laughs> so we can let's see what we can do as you can see we have a bunch of options we can do here file system command so we can read the contents of a file to the screen we can print working directory and so on we can also set the um, uh, display interfaces display the network connections we can we have the system connects we can clear the event log <laughs> this might be useful in some cases and uh, we can go to get the sys, sys info here this will give us the system info the interpreter windows windows version and computer name and the kiwi commands we have the kiwi commands retrieval credentials use kerberos ticket uh, purge any in-use Kerberos tickets to retrieve user account information uh, in via DSCS here. Creds retrieval credentials. Let's actually use this creds all. Mm -hmm. Change. We can also change the password or hash of the user. Kerberos pick Kerberos ticket list ah oh, we have not Kerberos tickets for now hash dump <laughs> we, uh, we now we have the hashes of administrators guests and the help assistant support so if you are in a newer systems you might um, like windows 10 or 11 there will be problems for getting the plain text passwords from the system in this case we can also get the passwords completely because it's old and vulnerable machine in today's world uh, but however it doesn't uh, we haven't modified this specific windows xp here but it's old and it hasn't had security patches like more than 10 years so as you can see we have the hashes of an administrator guest and support here uh, we can also get another here so we can also brute force this hash hashes with john the ripper which we will do that in the next sections of our course we can upload a file uh, or a directory we also have the networking commands we have the system commands we have the user interface commands uh, remote user in a real time yet let's, uh, let's actually use a screen share let's see what it will give us and here as you can see here let's can you see on the screen yeah now let's see what will happen and as you can see here we can see this screen real time here google.com and as you can see here we have we can do all kinds of things here and that's it that's a good exploitation here right so by following these steps, we can effectively load the Mimikatz model and use um, modules, all of the modules here almost. We can also go like, yeah, you can stop it now. Yeah. So as you can see here, we can uncover the system plain text passwords also. Uh, just, well, we can actually uncover these passwords with Kerberos here. I think we missed something here help so we can get this Kerberos credits all credits all here we can get QCMD here
Fred's Kerber. Wi-Fi list. We don't have Wi-Fi on this specific system. Cat use, use Kerberos ticket. Retrieve LM. Creds. All. Creds. MSV. Creds. SSP and so on. can also have another things here get elevate your privilege get system You can go to shell and as you can see here now we are on the windows system cmd here that's it we have successfully hacked the system and uh, here uh, we now have done with this lecture in next lecture we will have more uh, specific and comprehensive penetration testings from now so i'm waiting you in next lecture